I'm Michelle Sklar. We are here at TEDxYYC in Calgary at the Grand Theatre. And I am joined by Shelley Ambrose with Walrus Magazine. And Shelley's actually been the MC for our event today. So first of all, thank you so much for joining You're us. You're very welcome. Thank you for having You've been me. very engaging and done an amazing job and helping to kind of, you know, take us through the flow of the day. So I thought we could start off by, um, you know, getting some of your insights on how you think the event is going. Well, the event is spectacular. I think my first insight, having spoke at a TEDx previously in my life, that it's a lot easier to be the host. <laughs> I mean, it really takes something for people to, to yeah. there's a discipline involved in taking an idea with a beginning and a middle and an end and getting up there with a very strict, you know, time allotment and, and trying to, to cram it all in there in a way that's edible for people. And you, you aren't really supposed to refer to people who come before or after you, but what tends to happen, and it's happening here in a really brilliant way, is a thread starts to emerge between all of these different people talking about such a full range of ideas. And you, you start to have a big idea of your own after a while, hearing, I mean, today we've heard about everything from psychological trauma to love and happiness to different ways to educate people to aid and water and failure and open source and sharing and I mean it's it's incredible it's incredible the range of, of things they've plowed into this. It is absolutely so you just mentioned that perhaps there is a kernel of an idea that is burgeoning with you. Well I think the idea actually Dr. Ron Glasberg who's very passionate as you know about changing education, when he when he talks about provisional, that everything is provisional, which that that's the first step to understanding that change is possible, that it isn't the status quo, or that that is you can no longer say that's the way we do things, or that's the way it's done, that you that change is possible if you just start to think about it, and the more cooperation involved. The more that other people want, not necessarily to do what you want to do, but want to allow those things to happen, right. that's the start of everything. And then you get that little video where it's like how to start a movement, and you've got the one naked dancing guy, <laughs> and the importance that the next person who joins him, that really the first follower of a movement is almost more important than the leader. And then everybody in the room starts to feel like, hey, I can do that. I could be the first follower. And it's, uh, no, it's incredible. So let me ask you, Shelley, I mean, you know, you are, you, you, you represent um, a fabulous Canadian magazine. I would consider it a, um, an icon of Canadiana publishing. It is a print publication. We are surrounded by new ideas and new technologies and new ways of communicating. How do you reconcile the two of those and how do you look at being able to move forward with um, a publication like Walrus so that really continues to um, have life and breath, you know, put through it? I have no trouble reconciling the two of those things because we're doing it already. Uh, the Walt, First of all, magazines, people are all talking about the death of print, um, the death of print journalism. And again, in, in a venue today, it's people need to understand that newspapers and magazines are very different and magazine readership is actually going up and the reason for that is that there's a magazine for everybody no matter what your interest is skateboarding golf wedding bells gardening the walrus like whatever it is there's a magazine for you and everybody reads magazines young people old people they're transportable they have color they're rich you know there's a real experience there but at the same time at the walrus we have a, a mandate to lift what we do on the page and throw it on a stage and we do that both in a physical setting like this with our debates and other things we do across the country but we also do it at walrusmagazine.com so there's a lot of other things that happen there that we don't do on the printed page. And yes, we have blogs and podcasts and all of those other things, but we also take our, our archives, we're just about to launch the Walrus Laughs, for instance, or our humor pieces, and then we have new people writing for them. We'll do writing contests and humorous writing with students and other people and add clips and make a little planet. And then we'll lift that off the page and have an evening across the country called the Walrus Laughs. So it's it, now a lot of things that come to us online feed everything else that we do right. and some things start in the magazine but they don't end there excellent Shelly thanks for joining us Thank I really you. appreciate that Shelly Ambrose with Walrus magazine we're here at TEDxYYC I'm Michelle Sklar